This electric kit is made of a motor, a battery, a screen, some cables, a throttle, a pedal assist sensor and brake levers. In this video I show you how I install this electric conversion kit in the trike. I test it with real world work. I'll tell you about energy and range from my tests and the things I like about this conversion kit and not so much. Finally, I'll tell you how to make an adapter for your electric trike or bike to charge at a public EV charging station. Let's get started. The first thing that I'm doing is putting the four components on the steering wheel, which is the, the two brake levers. When you press them, they'll tell the controller to stop driving the accelerator and the screen then i use this cable that has four connectors on one end and one connector on the other hand i'll use it to connect all the components in the steering bar to the controller next i prepare the wheel it comes without the free wheel and without the disc brake so we have to add those Typically you would fit one with gears if you want to, but I have one, there's just one gear. I'm gonna try this one. Then the other side, there's the space for the disc brake. So let's put that. All right. Now I'll test everything in the bench. In the bench, I'll put the wheel, the battery, and the pedal assist sensor. Yeah, and this is it. When moving the center part, it will know that the pedals are moving. And everything is connected to the components in the steering wheel. So I turn it on now, and I press the throttle and the throttle makes the wheel move. So I know that this is working. And I use the pedal assist sensor to also confirm that that's working. Looking good. Now I install the pedal assist sensor in the pedals. When the pedal moves, then that center part moves and the outer bit does not so it will know that i'm pedaling and should okay. turn on the assist mm -hmm. now i'm gonna put the wheel in give a little bit of a fight but uh, yeah just managed to put it there Well, this is the battery that I'm using and the controller becomes together with the battery. Let's go for cable management. And also this part that holds the controller, that's the part that is fixed to the bike. And then you can attach or remove the battery whenever you want. So I want to install the battery here. That's why I hang the bike in the tree because I have to weld here some nuts that uh, then this plate will be bolted here and then the battery can come in and out so yeah just have to weld some nuts here but I end up threading instead and I use Threadlock 
just to be extra safe. Fit that in. Looking good. Yeah, that's how it stays in the end. And that's where the connectors from the control and battery come from. And I welded this bracket here to install the brake calipers. And then I do some cable management and install the steel cable for the disc brake. More cable management and I also like to use this fabric tape. And here the three connectors to the controller and battery from the wheel motor, the components in the steering bar and the pedal assist sensor. The extra cable I wrapped it here just temporarily. So this is the first ride after putting it together. Well, it's a breeze to not have to cycle with the extra 45 kilos. It's pretty good. I needed this. Now I can do tests with cargo. I'm curious to see how it goes with cargo. Going up is as easy as going down. That's fun. I just feel like going up all the time. So to start, only after half a turn of the pedal, it starts assisting. So starting is the trickiest because I have to pedal about 180 degrees until it starts uh, assisting. So actually what I do to start is to press the throttle and then it goes. So it helps me start and then I start pedaling. Yes, yeah, so I press the throttle, it takes me off the line and then I uh, guess it helps with uh, starting. So I didn't like these wires here, so I designed and 3D printed this part to come here. All right, that's it. Now the cables are hidden. Looks better to me. All right, so I prepared the trike to get some cargo, a box and um, a tarp in case it rains. And I'm gonna get uh, flour for a friend that makes bread, 25 kilos worth of it. So I'm gonna go there empty. It's gonna be 30 kilometers there empty. And then on the way back, I'm gonna go to, with the cargo and let's see how that uh, how it behaves. So if we look at um, how it is right now, we can see that it's um, well, it's fully charged, and it's at um, forty-two volts, and the odometer says mm, six kilometers. It's on trip for 5.6. Um, yeah, we have everything ready to go. All right, see you there. So I'm at the beginning of my ride at 15 kilometers per hour. The level of assistance that makes sense to me is three. If I want to go faster than put four, and that uh, <laughs> immediately propels me to 20 kilometers per hour. And uh, 
I'm doing a bit of effort. So that's pretty good at steady state. We're going quite uphill. I'm doing no effort. It's very pretty here. All right, I lost one battery bit there. And the voltage is at 39 volts. And I'm at the river crossing by boat. All right, let's go. All right, I arrived to the place where I'm getting my cargo from. We have uh, lost two bars worth of energy. So let's get the cargo. All right, strap in. Now. We have three bars worth of energy. Let's try to get home. Well, it was all right for now. So I'm arriving to Amsterdam. Have uh, seven more kilometers to go. And I have two bars on the energy meter. Looks like I'm going to arrive with some energy. That's good. And, uh, well, I came always with a level of assistance four, which means I am not doing any force whatsoever with the pedals so yeah looks good so far all right i made it back with the cargo i have left one bar worth of energy and i had a left tire so i rode the last three kilometers with a with a um, flat tire which was pretty miserable but still i still have some energy left so it did the job so the review of this electric kit first of all this was offered by Jose Power in exchange for a review so thank you very much for that and then what I like about this electric kit one it's uh, well easy to install you order a wheel with the motor assembled it comes in the wheel size that you want and um, then the battery also has a controller uh, attached to it which reduces the cabling so everything is easy to assemble second i just went and do a job with it i rode uh, 25 kilometers and uh, grab a bag of flour for a friend that makes bread and rode back with it the bag is 25 kilos the trike is 45 kilos when i arrived i still have um, one bar of energy so that's good the price of the kit is very low and the quality seems to be very good so i'm uh, pleased with that the power at constant rate is 250 watt max and the speed at which it can assist is 25 kilometers per hour and that is per European regulations and it seems more than enough to me. I just went to get some cargo and uh, I was with the maximum assisting level 
and I never have to do any force if I'm with the maximum assisting level. Uh, there's only one downside for me of this kit. So the pedal assist sensor, it, it you have to spin the pedal about 180 degrees until uh, the motor kicks in and that doesn't give you a fine control. So if you're starting and stopping, that uh, is a little bit uh, yeah, uh, not so fine controlled, but you can sort of mitigate that by using the throttle when you're at standstill and want to start. All right, so I leave a link in the description for the kit that I used in case you want to check that out. So I made this adapter to be able to charge the trike from a public EV charging station. This uh, charger here comes with the electric kit and it connects to the battery here. So the job of an EV charging station, of an AC charging station, is to connect the electric grid to the electric vehicle. And there is some communication in this port here where the vehicle tells the charging station, yes, I am an electric vehicle. And then when I flip this switch up, yes, I want to start charging. So when I flip this switch to off, it tells the charging station to stop charging. And when I flip it to on, it tells the charging station to start charging. So let me show you how I made this adapter. This adapter has a vehicle inlet, some connections inside and the socket outlet. And it has that circuit to simulate an electric vehicle. So to simulate an electric vehicle, you have to connect this circuit to control pallet and protective earth. All you need is a diode, two resistors and a switch. So if the switch is open, the charging station will know that there's a vehicle connected to it. And if the switch is closed, the charging station will know that the vehicle wants to charge. This is compliant with electric vehicle charging standards. So let me show you what's inside the box. So the vehicle inlet connects directly with protective earth, neutral and line to the socket outlet. So when the charging station connects the grid to its output, then it gets connected also to the socket outlet. And the control pilot and protective earth are connected to the control pilot circuit that I already shown. So to show you how I built the adapter, first I use a vehicle inlet and I 3D printed this box to put everything inside. I wired the vehicle inlet and now I'm going to connect everything to the connectors inside of the, vo inside of the box. I just uh, mind the circuit every now and then, make sure everything is right. Type those in and I install a socket outlet and connect to the connectors. I connect the control pilot circuit. There it is. And then I made this lid that is transparent so I can see inside. And I put some bolts to finish. And that's it. One adapter to charge your trike or bike with an electric vehicle charging station. All right, this is it. I hope you found value in your time watching this. So cheers, have a good time.